and finance. Yeah, finance is running the country. So um, we have a second bomber here, which we could go ahead and force this whole group to withdraw, giving us six victory. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go with that. Okay. Anyways, we got news. U.S. Air Forces in Europe from General Curtis LeMay, Strategic Air Command. Promote the interest alignment of our military. Deploy two fighter commands in Western Alpine Zone. And it'll activate the Reconnect West Wing. Uh, I'm scared, but I'll, I'll consider it if, if we have the possibility of it. I just don't like putting... Um, Putting fighters in such a uh, such a threatened position. Thorn, I played Civ Five and enjoyed it, but didn't play it long. Uh, Strategy Mill says Alpha Centauri was my favorite as well, and Pirates is a, a definitive. Excellent. Yeah, I, I'm I'm glad I'm glad we agree there. Yeah, fantastic. All right. Um, so I'm pretty sure there isn't a major difference between attacking them with a fighter or a bomber. Okay. Also, um, so here's the policy that we want to move towards. We'll get one VP out of it. Um, this is also telling us um, what we gain um, along with the timeline. So at the start of each timeline, your domestic interest levels will increase or decrease the corresponding alignment. Alignments mm -hmm. are indicated by numbers, none if zero, below the corresponding interest holders. Certain intelligence missions and focus provide adjustments to the alignment level. So, um, reconnect the West Wing. Reconnect the West Wing. Um, increase influence in West Germany Alpine Zone to at least three. Okay. So USA control and gain one VP and one military. Uh, yeah. All right. Don't we want that? I I do, but so I'm. Why all... are you hesitant? Well, I would go with it. Why? I'm I'm hesitant because um, number one, we got two turns. Oh. And um, I'm worried about this ship here. Oh. Um, so it's asking us, um, to increase the influence there. So in order to actually pull that off, mm -hmm. I would have to have a tank, um, here doing the increase influence mission and then okay. bringing two fighters in here. I just, I'm going to tell them to F off. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. Okay. I, 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 I just, I, I feel I like. Trust, I trust in your, um. You know, that, you know that that's General. bait me? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's bait. bait. <laughs> General LeMay, I disagree, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I do not want to... I mean, you know, West Germans, they can deal. Mm -hmm. they, they'll be fine. I'm sorry, West Germans. I, I trust I trust your decision on the matter. <laughs> like, Anyways, um, I mean, taking a look. I would have gone for it, but... So that pushes them to reorganizing. Thorin, I, to I totally get what you're saying. I, I get stressed out in, in some of the strat games, too. And this one, once again, pushes them to reorganize. So um, to, we'll save our bombers in case we have okay. multiple units that we can deal with. Okay. So we'll use our fighter um, uh, from our carrier, and we'll attack uh, the surface fleet. Um, we're only going to have two more turns here, so we're getting what we can done. I'm trying to get this area clear of influence. All right, the current USSR focus has only one turn remaining. Be sure to review your options for the upcoming focus selection. Activate current focus effect. Due to the weak representation of the interests of the elites, the Department of State suggests strengthening their position. During the course of a focus, the current focus effect is displayed on the top left corner of your theater screen. Here, the display effect is permanent unless stated otherwise. Press the text to open focus management and review the remaining focuses for the time. So here's what we got. These are the next available foci. Okay. I, I know you, you just kind of blast over as yeah, soon as know. that happened. Yeah, I know. So we'll go ahead. We'll, we'll you be... know me too well. <laughs> I was like, what? Bye. <laughs> nope. <not?"> nope. <laughs> like... So we'll come to that in just a quick second. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish up our current thing. Okay. They were talking about how our elites are sucking. So, um, these are the interests of our political establishment. Ah, um, oh, your elites suck. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, your elites suck. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, they're down here. Honestly, I'm more concerned about our government um, being low, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and pay attention to that. Okay. So what we're gonna wanna focus on um, for our focus, okay. we're gonna try and take something later on that um, if it costs us anything, it's gonna cost us finance mm -hmm. or people. 
Um, we still want to save the military for your stuff. And we want to gain government and elites. So anyways, let's go ahead and finish up what we got here. Let's uh, bomb them, forcing them to withdraw, giving us three more VP. More so, VP is more better. Yes. Right, because we want to get to like 100 if possible. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we care very much for you, Norway. Sorry, West Germany. <laughs> We, we did our part. <laughs> I mean, you gotta make you gotta make decisions, right? <laughs> so, strategy mills is nice move. Thank you. Um, so, what what it's selecting right now is the Clifford Elsie report, um, which will set the elites to five, and then whenever the USSR fails uh, intelligence, okay, the USA has a fifty percent chance to discover it. So um, we go from two elites up to five elites. Sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, couple other ones that, that exist. Uh, we don't know. Soviet ones. But we know that if we wanted to stay in Western Europe, mm -hmm. this would be good. We have Wirtschaftswunder. Um, probably messing that up. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but like, if you're German, I'm sorry. Yeah, I... I <laughs> It sets the influence in the Western German Alpine Zone to match the influence in the East German Baltic Zone. And uh, we, we gain um, some finance. So that could be good. Mm -hmm. Because we have that mission in our influence. Yeah, I, I think it's a good idea. So, um, Work on the mission, good idea. Um, I, think, I think that policy might no longer be available. Then. Um, but... Anyways, we'll find out. All right, another option that we have is Enemies Within, which is going to focus on North America. Um, this is uh, this is a lot of the uh, McCarthy stuff. I mean, think about it. Enemies Within. And then we have another urgent one here for Strategic Air Command that focuses on North America. And then we oh have goodness. one more that focuses in Western Europe, which is also... Your funny important. movie. <laughs> Anyways, this is this is pretty good. And this is pretty good, um, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, we... So, the Space Command. Do I have your permission <laughs> to go forward with uh, Wirtschaft uh, Wunder? Space Command. Hey, sorry. Um... Spacing out. I'm spacing out. Sorry. <laughs> what, what? What? Do I have your permission to go forward with that focus on Western Europe? Uh, yes. I mean, that sounds like the best idea to me because of what you were saying we would gain. So I think yes. I'm sorry, West Germans. We were ignoring you for a little bit, focusing on Norway and all that. But here we go. We're going to give you some focus. The fate of West Germany. West German Alpine Zone. The Allied Control Council faces a massive security and humanitarian challenge. Formed by the USSR, UK, France, and the USA, the newly governing body replaces the former Nazi civil government needs to act. Germany, in particular, is in ruins following the Second World War. The fallout of war... Um, the fallout of war. These German-speaking parts of Europe, under joint occupation, have become a space without law, shelter, or mercy. Victimized, the civilians are struggling with shortages of all sorts, fuel, fertilizer, and food. Well, let's come in and help. You and your opponent gain, if available, one decision okay, on each turn. turn, or two on the first turn of each new timeline. Actions do not share a decision, and each decision offers up to three options to decide between. There are two distinct types. Default decisions, with Decide Later button, allow postponing the decision until the end of the focus, at the end of which you'll lose all remaining undecided default decisions without effect. Or urgent decisions, without a Decide Later button, you cannot make a choice by the end of the turn. Your administration will select an option for you with its effects applied. So, oh, we want oh to try my God. It. Anonymous. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Oh, my God. Thank you so much <laughs> for gifting all those subs. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Let's go ahead and move forward to decisions. So there are some regional decisions bringing up. Okay. This is something that we can focus on. Some okay. decisions are linked to specific regions. When available, it is indicated on the map. So, here we have our response to Germany. Kind of left them out in the cold earlier, literally. 
yeah. now they're cold and need fuel for warming and all that sort of stuff. So from Allied Control Council, what direction does the U.S. propose for governing West Germany? Civilian shortages are extensive. We risk Germans once more finding comfort in adversarial political ideas if we do not meet basic needs. So we could prioritize rebuilding their economy, where we'll lose one elite and gain one finance. We're already pretty good on finance. We're yeah. already low on elites. I don't like that. Focus on infrastructure and civic development. We get one people and we lose one military. Yeah. Unfortunately, you need military, but we're doing pretty good on it. Yeah. yeah. So I'm okay with that. Claim reparations instead. We lose influence in West German Alpine Zone and gain two elites. That um, sounds pretty uh, shallow of us. They're struggling, and we're like, yeah, yeah. That's basically... That that's a repeat of what happens... This is why we play games, because <laughs> I don't want to make those... I don't want to make those decisions IRL. So, like, like, I just don't. After World War One, I... I um, what happened in Germany after World War One was horrible. Okay. And with the reparations that were they were forced to pay, and it brought up... Okay. It, it brought up um, adversarial political ideas. Nice way of wording that. Nice way of wording that. Um, a certain guy with a mustache. <laughs> Anyways, so um, we're going to focus on infrastructure and civil development. Is that okay? I'm going to be using one of your military. Uh, yeah, go for it. Okay. I mean, because I think that's necessary. I mean, right? <laughs> hey, how, I'm always scared to make these decisions, especially when it's like, I don't want to blow up. I don't want to be the one that blows up the world. You know, like, like I don't, I don't want to be that. I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> you know, like, for doing so. For doing so, we can get three VP. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Well, that's not too Yeah, bad. we need our victory point. <laughs> we, we need those victory points. I'll take it. I'll take it. Or hold on. Let's see. Um, influence at, at least five. Okay. At least three. Was it going to give us? Your oh, and this is something that we get because we have the Flower Power DLC. Okay. Thank you so much for including that in our package. That's, um, All right, flower power. Now that's, so that's, that, that's like my style. <laughs> there you go. So because we're doing nice, kind things. Okay. Um, but, okay, so in order to make this happen, we might have to go with what they were saying. So uh, we got to increase the influence, and we need to have, what is it? Two fighter commands there. Um, We don't know if there's... If there's any troops right here. I'm not seeing it. Kinda scared though. So let's yeah, let's go ahead and um try try our best. Um we'll go ahead and deploy a tank there. I feel like this game does a really good job with uh building up the like tension because mm -hmm. you don't really know like I don't like when I think about the Cold War, I think about the the tension between the United States and the Soviet Union, and I feel like this game is kind of doing that really well. I agree. Um, so we can we can recon it, but if we fail, it's like peace or something, man. <laughs> totally. <laughs> now let's get to Frisco and look at some butterflies. <laughs> hey, I like butterflies. <laughs> Hey, when 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 we're, you were when you were playing Stellaris, Stellaris she made I a made butterfly. a butterfly race. They were extremely peaceful and very diplomatic, and everybody was like our friends. And then when somebody actually wanted to um, go to war with me, I had all of these um, allies back us up, and then they were like, "Up, oh, never mind." <laughs> they didn't want to go to war with us any longer. <laughs> okay, so I cannot. Um... My recon chance is thirty-five percent. I'm not going to risk it. So we're going, we're going to, we're going to hope that we can bring a tank in here. Okay. We're going to spend um, one extra uh, finance to do so, and we're going to try to raise um, our our influence in zone. Okay. And then bring in some fighters. Let's hope it goes well. Okay, they moved a ship. That's fine. Um, Denazification Directives from Allied Control Director. What should the fate of the directives be moving forward? Zealous and bureaucratic, the military-run denazification program is very inefficient. Inadequate to handle the workload, logistical and other problems hamper its progress. 
Perhaps it is time to allow locals to help. So here's what I we can do. I have never heard the word denazification. Yeah, so, so um, that like taking out the Nazi, like getting rid of Nazis, or what is? Never it, heard the word. So it's I don't about know. the ideology. Oh, okay. So these people um, during the Third Reich mm -hmm. um, had a lot of propaganda. Okay. And they had a lot of views pushed. So this was basically to try. Oh and my bring them God! Out of it. Anonymous cheerer. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for the so biddies. much for the biddies. Anonymous cheerer cheered. X one hundred. Oh my God! Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. So here's what we can do. Um, Oh, but yeah, you were asking denazification. Yeah. So, so there are the Nuremberg trials where, um, and, and several other trials where the major criminals prosecute, except for like Werner von Baum, who were like, hey, come over here. Wasn't Werner rockets. von Baum like a, a fascist? Oh, yeah. oh okay. <laughs> which, but, uh, which I think, didn't Werner von Braun help us with, uh, was it the space program? The space program? Yeah. So I think I want to say it was something with Explorer One, but I don't really. I'm, I'm stretching because I don't really remember. But it's the. It's, it's, they have, they have <laughs> it's very weird. advanced rocket development from the V ones and V twos. Okay. Um, especially the V two. Yeah. And so uh, we decided that we uh, couldn't, as as we put it, or as the United States put it, we can't let that fall into the hands of the Soviets. Okay. But. Um, I'm sorry, I keep like throwing you off on a tangent oh, no. because there's a lot of interesting stuff in oh, this game that keeps history. getting brought up, and I'm like, what? What, what was this? That I always ask you because you always have the the information. It seems like. Oh, and then Strategy Mill said von Braun and his friends. Um, the USSR has a decision chain to capture him with Operation. I have no idea how to say that. <laughs> mm. And the Allies had Operation Ajax. Okay. See, I don't even know that. I don't. I don't know anything about that. I've never even heard of Operation Eight. Uh, Savashism. Uh, whatever. But, um, dude, appreciate that. Thank you for um, telling us about that, Strategy Mill. You really, you really covered those details. Um, simple. simple. It's pronounced. Thanks, uh, <laughs> 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 <Egg> Waffle. Thanks, <laughs> Waffle. <laughs> Very helpful. <laughs> All right, so here's what we got going on here. Well, um, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad somebody thinks it's simple. <laughs> like... yeah. Well, that was a slash uh... S for sarcasm, too. But yes. Um, so we have we have three options for what we can do. Be sarcastic, back Nord. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. So we can transfer the task to the German authorities, which um, <laughs> is largely um, what happened in real life. It gives us West uh, in influence in West German Alpine Zone, but we're already doing that. Okay. Um, as far as getting influence, we would uh, sacrifice one people. We're doing okay on people. We would lose one military. We need to keep your military. Yeah, military. We just that. sacrificed a little bit for military, didn't we? Mm -hmm. I don't think we should sacrifice more. Um, continue under the U.S. military program. We gain. Um, so we gain one influence. It looks like. Okay. And we lose one government. That sucks because we're already got one government. Maintain thorough control of information instead. We would lose two military and gain two elites. Okay. I don't like that. Because we don't... We have four military for you. That Like, that would take you down to two. Yeah. I think we need to keep our military. So, unfortunately, I think we're stuck with the middle option, even though that's going to hurt our government. Did we? Do we know what uh, what their military is at right now? Their military? When they started um, out, they were at they're seven. At, they're at two. Holy crap, they really did spend some. They, they lost a lot of military. Um, their elites are doing okay. But, um, yeah. Anyways, I think we got to suck it up and go with uh, go with this. Because okay. we're trying to maintain the military for you yeah. to use for your, um, your space race. Warning! Subject, interest, mismanagement of government. Yay! I mismanaged the government. Hey, that makes me... That made me nervous when I heard the thing. This <laughs> makes me a real U.S. politician. I mismanaged the government. <laughs> Woo! Now you All can right. run for president. No, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Kidding. <laughs> this action escalates opposition against your administration to dangerous levels. Do you want to proceed? Unfortunately, we do. Um, each time an interest level is maxed or depleted, the interest holder escalates its opposition against your administration. Avoid losing the game depends on you skillfully balancing eating domestic interests. 
We're gonna do it. There are five interest holders, each holding um, ten, so zero through nine levels. Uh, so finance, people, elites, military, and government. These levels represent resources that you can spend on various actions. Each time an interest level is maxed out or depleted, the interest holder escalates its opposition against your administration. To avoid losing the game depends on your skillful balancing. So anyways, um, you don't want to max it, you don't want to lose it. Here we go. So we just tanked it to, uh, to zero. Um, we're going to have to plan around that in the future. So... Um, <laughs> So I know you played, uh, I think you did a different campaign or something. You played this like a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. Did you tank any of your, any of your uh, resources? Um, several times. Were... Okay. I traded VP for, for points. Okay. Which, um, we're kind of going to do a little bit of, of some of that right now. Um, we're going to, um, turn this into a, a, a level five. Okay. All right, Phantom Limbs. The American government is weak and divided. The United States maintains its power by a vast array of officials and functionaries that are focused on one aim, the defense of freedom and the American way. Yet these are still people ruled by the human heart. Allegiances can shift and doubt can erode even the strongest stone of support given enough time. Moscow knows this and is too close um, and, and, so, and so too does the administration. For one, it is an opportunity and for the other, it is a nightmare about to become all too real. So here's our here are our options. We can gain three government and lose two VP. Okay. I'm all for that. Okay. We, we're, we've, we've already gotten a decent amount of VP. I'm okay. I'm, I'm relying on your, like, <laughs> knowledge to, like, I think we should. So here we go. We got some government back. Um, we should have opened up some policies. So rehabilitation of Germany. Look at this. Oh, that's good. Yes. Free VP. Yeah, we need So that. we just lost two and we just gained one. Um, reconnecting. That was worth it. <laughs> for reconnecting the West Wing, um, we want to uh, want to go ahead and get two fighter wings um, okay. in West Europe. Let's go ahead. We have um, we have this one going around doing its thing. I'm not too I worried feel like about that it. That one's there the entire time. Yeah, I'm not. So I don't. I'm not super worried. But like you said, it could. They and they may just be there for bait. Mhm. Mm okay, if we I deploy know. directly to here, we're going to spend some finance. Prodigy Mill said, "Well done. That was strategic. Ended up with plus one VP as you traded uh, two VP or three. Yeah. Hopefully it won't backfire. I'm still concerned though. <laughs> Hopefully it won't backfire." Don't jinx us, Nord! <laughs> Don't jinx us, please! I'm concerned because they now have units right here. Okay. So if I try to build up... You still the... have bombers, right? Yeah, but if I try to build up the fighter wing here, um, I'm worried that um, that they'll just come in and wipe them out. Ew. Yeah. Is there... Can you do it elsewhere? Like, not next? No, it has like... to be a, the policy. Reconnecting the West Wing. Increase influence in West Germany, Alpine Zone to at least oh. three. We did. Uh, we'll gain one VP and one military alignment. Um, okay. The fighter command. We need uh, fighter commands in the West German Alpine Zone. But okay. like I said earlier, that feels like bait to me. So I think at this moment, I think we stand down our force. Okay. And then we attack. So I'm bringing that back into command reserve. Um, I'm not, uh, if, if I'm going to get attacked from Eastern Europe, mm -hmm. they're, they're not going to take any units with it. That, that's, that's my viewpoint. Um, let's go ahead and mess with the ship. So we'll take, uh, both of us from combat ready status to us being engaged and then reorganizing. This will give us no VP, but we can gain some later. All right, so, Gario, uh, Garioa, Germany. In a vote, a political majority supported sending aid to Germany. Congress established the Government Aid and Relief in Occupied Areas Fund, or Garioa, because they're really good with acronyms. <laughs> Tasked with distributing fe uh, fuel, fertilizer, and food, it excludes materials vital to German industry. 
this um, they will have to repay the funds at a later date. So we can um, get, uh, spend some finance to gain elites. Okay. Or we can veto it and gain more people, but excuse me, uh, but lose we... elites. I don't think we should lose elites. How many points were we? But do we need the people for anything else? How many people do we have? No, um, I was wondering how many turns we have left. Because we can go and gain elites via something else I thought we had uh, one more turn left. Is that not right? We had two turns a little while ago. I thought I thought we had one more. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with losing the elites. I think because um, you're okay with it. Because the next policy could be a better one for us. Go for could it, be. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Oh shoot! We have five turns left. We have five turns. <laughs> oh well. I, I didn't realize that. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm doing, folks. <laughs> Nothing to see here. All right, what what are they going to be doing? Um, they're going to spend two people in one government to gain seven influence in Western Europe, restricted to regions with the USSR, USSR presence. So they're trying to get a presence in Western Europe. We have them blocked out from everywhere but um, Greece and the Yugoslavia, Yugoslav Albanian zone. So we're doing a good job of holding them back. But let's go ahead and... For our turn, we're going to gain 3 VP blowing up a ship, or forcing it to retreat. Yeah. All right, Western Europe, uh, from the Secretary of State. I request to deliver a speech promising economic prosperity and no division of Germany, which is not desired by the people concerned. Uh, the nub of the program is to win the German people in a battle between us and Russia over mines, said uh, James F. Byrnes. So... Um, we can focus on Polish independence instead. We will lose influence in West German Alpine Zone, but gain government. Or we can cancel the speech and lose government. Uh, that doesn't seem good because it's a loss. But... I mean, this is... I don't really feel like we need the influence. Okay. Um, what does this do? Influence is less than five in East... Baltics. Oh, it's because it's less than five, so we could do this. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Um, I'm okay with losing a little influence and gaining some government. All right. Each of hope. All right. Um, so where where does that put them? That puts them at a three here now. Okay. Not too bad for us. Where's our VP? Up here. We're at a twelve. Okay, we're at twelve. Let's see. <laughs> we, we're at 12. Okay, we're not even close to 100. <laughs> so I'm still I'm still not in a good position for doing some espionage there, but it's it's getting there. All right, so they keep uh, they keep sending out um, free ships for us, mm -hmm. which is nice. We'll be able to do a carrier strike in one turn. So let's go ahead and look at bombing them right. Now. Okay. Polish independence happened for USSR. The U.S. publicly supports a free and independent Poland. In a recent speech delivered by James F. B uh, Barnes. That's Barnes, right? Bryans? Byrons? Bryans? Byrons. Brian. Byrons? Bryans? Byrons? Bar I'm going with Byrons. <laughs> Whatever. Byron. Byron? Byrons. <laughs> I'm going with that. The American stance is clear. They reject a notion of Soviet influence and, decla and declare their full support towards a truly independent Poland. Burns. <laughs> I don't know. Mr. Burns. <laughs> I don't know how to say so, that. So, um, <laughs> something to keep in mind. So, uh, a lot of people um, respond kind of awkwardly to the situation as far as what happened with Poland mm -hmm. um, in World War II. I mean, obviously, the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact that, that separated Poland and gave part of it to Germany and yeah. part of it to the Soviet Union. Um, like, a lot of people figure that out and they're like, that's kind of messed up. But um, Poland had, um, prior to that, taken a chunk out of Belarus here and a uh -huh. chunk out of the Ukraine here, which had been part of Russia at that point in time. So... It was kind of a tit for tat. Obviously, Poland was in a total crap position mm -hmm. because they were eliminated as a country. I feel Excellent. like I'm watching a PC in 1982. Yeah, you are. You are. Exactly. Except with more color. 
This is this is very colorful for a PC <laughs> of that time frame. You are. It's kind of like in in War Games, which is a 1983 movie. <laughs> so so you're exactly right. Uh, movie. All right, we're gonna force them to withdraw, giving us another three B, three BP. I said it right. 